Hello everybody, how are you doing? I hope you are all well and safe and having a great day. My day is going pretty well. The sun's shining and it feels like the first day of spring, even though we've got a little bit of winter left yet. It feels uh, so nice and really looking forward to the uh, nice sunny weather that's coming our way. In the meantime, I've been doing a little bit of a watercolour painting in Critter using the default brushes that are now available. And this is just a simple little rock face uh, and I'll show you how to paint it doing two or three different uh, colored washes, a little bit of line work, really nice and simple. So let's just get straight into the video. I am going to do a watercolor in uh, Krita and this is going to be a delicate a delicate watercolor in fact you know what I'm going to use colored pencils as well so let's just step back a bit um, so basically what I mean by colored pencils I'm using the pencil watercolor uh, char oh actually it's the charcoal pencil medium and I'm in some color into it so my sketch will be in color and i'm going to do this little rocky face I had fun doing an, uh, an oil painting with some rocks in so i thought let's let's um let's do a watercolor and this is going to be fairly delicate well that's the plan anyway i don't want to um I don't want to make it too heavy or anything just sort of a lot of line work and, and a few a few washes I'm thinking uh, that's my uh, my idea anyway let's see what we actually come up with um, this rock coming down here and then it sort of like this there we go that's a that's like that then we've got third one this should come over more like this I think Uh, uh, like that. That's it, it's coming together now. This is the uh, same place where I did the oil painting. I think it was in Rebel. Um, it's called a place called. Um, Beacon Hill in Leicestershire same same day we went to visit I just when we, whenever we go anywhere I take stacks of photos and the idea being that uh, it'll keep me going for a while with with paintings and my photography is not brilliant I don't pretend to be a photographer or I uh, although I do have a uh, Instagram account where I just put photographs on it I don't think I've ever actually ever mentioned that on this channel before um, I, I certainly don't advertise it it's not the, the Instagram that pops up on the um, on the, the little pop-up thing in a video um, that's Steve the Scribbler where you can see all my uh, painting Instagrams and then a lot of them are uh, traditional and some of them are um, well a lot of them are digital as well I should say uh, hell of a lot of them I don't know where I'm, I'm lost where am I doing uh, I think this needs to come there we go uh, yeah so we've got Steve the Scribbler but all my um, paintings 
and then uh, Steve the clicker for for the for photography and uh, it's very different if you want to check it out very different to the um, painting for a start most of it most of it is in um, kind of really made this way too big haven't I um, most of it is in black and white which I really, I really love as a, a sort of a, an art form. I'm just going to shrink all of this down. I'm a bit carried away there. That doesn't it? Once we're talking, you see, when I talk, I just lose, lose track. Uh, I don't concentrate enough. That's better. Now I can see where we're at. So that we can bring this up there a little bit, and then we get this one coming out. Yeah, so check out Steve the Clicker on Instagram. Uh, I haven't got many followers, uh, and I haven't properly posted on it for six months or more and you'll, you'll see some photos that I've used of paintings but most of them are the different it's different stuff I, I, I kind of kept it separate it, it to me it's something not to do with the uh, painting at all it's something quite different I am going to get bored with drawing these rocks and then what will happen is um, I'll start missing them out that's what, what kind of normally happens I'm interested to see how this turns out I deliberately didn't do this one in um, Rebel I wanted to because I haven't done a watercolour in Critter for ages I'm using the new brushes. I think it came in 4.3, version 4.3. I'm using the, the brushes for that. And um, this colored pencil sketch didn't happen, did it? Yeah, and I wanted to come see how easy it is to do a watercolour in uh, Critter compared to Rebel and I have had a little play around with how I was going to approach this I have to say that um, Rebel is easier it, 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 is, it is easier but it's doable in in critter it is it's totally doable so i'm just, just sort of sketching the rocks and uh I've, I've not edited this because i think that what will happen the, the painting process isn't going to take too long do I need this rock in at the side? I don't know whether to put this rock in at the side here. Well, this one, I could put that in, sort of. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll do. I kind of know where I'm going with this now. Uh, I want to put a lot of um, suggestions in it as well. Sort of.
I see sketched out, so I've obviously drawn on the wrong layer. Um, this, if you're thinking, if if you're new to my channel, you haven't seen me working in Critter, and you see all these layers, think what that? What's all that about? Um, these um, layers are part of a smart texture. I zoom in. Sorry if you've seen this a million times before, but um, it's a way of getting a nice texture to your paper. If you want to do watercolors, pastels, or oil paintings, there's different textures for the three. And I'm using the watercolor one today. Links in description if you're interested in getting those, they are free. So you need to paint, if you're painting, paint where it says paint here. So that's where I'm going to create my new layer. Um, I'm going to lock that layer just to stop me painting on it. And I am going to begin with this brush, which says watercolor spread wide area. And I'm using it in, I'm going to use it in conjunction with this brush, which is the water pattern. And I found that those two together uh, allow me to get a large area on here. Now this is all about the rocks. So I'm not interested in the sky and as much that I don't want all that detail in. And what I want is I'm going to begin by putting in a pink, pinkish sky. And this brush, uh, I'll just step back. If you put on lots of pressure, you get hardly any color. And you can see I'm building it up. If you put on light pressure, you get a thick layer of paint. So it takes a bit of practice to get exactly what you want. See, that's too, way too dark. That's where I want to be. Nice pink layer in there. And then I'm going to change it to blue. Got a few blue bits in as well. I might leave it like that, actually. And this is where the other brush comes in. I use this brush, lots of pressure. I can soften that out. To get a nice diffused effect. So when I say it's harder than uh, to get an effect than in Rebel, I mean, you've got to put a bit more physical work in to actually blend these colors together. Whereas in Rebel, the mechanics of the machine just take over and paint them in for you. And um, come back with that brush a bit more. I want this blue to come into here. Sort of color the rocks a little bit. Soften them down. Uh, some yellow. I'm trying to get a yellow ochre colour. Again for the rocks. Oh, it would help if I got the right brush. I'm just spreading water around. So, uh, water sea spread wide area. that except it's a bit too much um oh, i just deleted the oh, deleted the old layer can i get can i step back <laughs> oh what i meant to do was uh is that gonna, that's it i meant to press control z to um just undo the last step and I press the delete key and cleared the whole area. Not cool. So there, there's a little bit of sort of local color in the rocks. Uh, I think I might work within a limited palette here, you know, where, um, I don't go at all with um, 
any green in this. Just work within this, this palette. Maybe. Too much isn't it too strong that one yeah soften that back with the water just to give that sort of distant little line take the eraser Let's make it a bit of sense. Now what I'm going to do, I'm using the eraser just to lift out some of the colour. And this is a you know a recognized technique in watercolour. You would have a little bit of tissue paper with some water or, or wet the wet the area. You want to lift the colour off with a brush, and then just dab it with a tissue dry tissue just to lift the colour out well, that's what I'm doing here I think these, these pencil lines will pretty much disappear at the end So as you can see, it's it's a really easy way of uh, painting rocks, and it looks pretty effective, I think. Just trying to make sure I get the right bits in, nice and light. It's a bit snow camp, doesn't it? That You're just erasing away, working on little bits of it. You can see how it comes together. Uh, I think I'll leave that in shadow. Could put a little bit here. And obviously, down here, some of these rocks are definitely going to be in there. Uh, highlighted of the light on them so the lights coming from left to right I don't know what I'm going to do with the um, trees yet I'll do them next I think get them out of the way yeah 
past that. I think we need a new layer. I'm really pleased with that. I'm really pleased with that. Um, yeah, I think I'll just save this. I haven't saved it at all yet. Save your work <laughs> far more often than I do. Honestly, I don't know what I'm thinking of. I'm going to lock that layer so I don't go back into it. Um, let's create another one. And I'm just going to see what other brushes we've got. What's this one? Uh, I think I'm going to do a sort of a blue green. Towards blue than green. For these trees. I like that. Um, I might use this brush for doing the line work. Actually, this is the basic round fringe two. I'm not so sure it's going to work for this, but I want to try it and see. Uh, pressure. This works the opposite way round to the other brushes. So light pressure, you get a light. And the more pressure you get. Dark colour. Yeah, I like it. And um, use that water again just to soften it a bit. Just there. Be. I like the brown. A brown bush. I don't like that, you know. I don't like that. Um, now I've got to try and get that same blue green. What was the brush I was using? Brown fringe two. Ah, I keep um, wanting to press on hard for the light and is it rain? Oh, I've deleted that sound. What? What? Oh, <laughs> Z. Oh, I want it. I have to paint them in again. I don't know what I've done wrong there. But you know what? Leaving a little bit of white. The brushes sometimes that they're a little bit fiddly to get get your head round. Once you do, they do work really nice. I have to use the uh, softener a bit. I think I'm just going to have a, a, a line of trees there. I, I found it a bit distracting before. And just use this softener. I've got long brush. Just to blend that in a bit. There we go. That's it. 
got there. That's all it needs, isn't it, really? Now, I think just just because no reason, no reason than just because I'm creating a new layer for the line work, and I'm imagining I'm going to um, paint. I'm going to use this fringe brush. I'm going to make it really small. And I'm going to mix up, I suppose really I ought to put in my shadows next before I do any line work. Yeah, let's do some shadows. And I'm imagining I'm going to mix up sort of a burnt sienna with ultramoon blue, which would sort of make it a bit darker. Is that gonna work? So I'm making a brush bit. I don't know if this is the right brush actually. Um, let's see what else have we got. This is the water brown grain. Too big. Just for putting in shadows. So say for example. That's not the right brush. Just trying a few different brushes. Nope. The flat brush. As you can see I was messing about. Oh, now then. Right, lots of pressure. Doesn't spread it out too much. That's I might use this brush, but so this is called the um, Water Sea Flat Decay Tilt. I wonder what this one's like. Water Flat Big Grain. I think I like this one better. I don't like the colour though. I'm coming. I'm going to make it a bit more yellow. Yeah, I like that colour, I think. Still not finding the brush I want. You know, I think that's it. And that is back to the round fringe too. Yeah, I like that brush. Let's get some shadows in. If you don't try them, you know, you, you're not going to know, are you? With overlapping, I can just use the eraser, come in and clean it all up. So that is the re the real reason I am using uh, this on a different layer. In fact, I'm deliberately going to go over then I can tidy it up and get some nice sharps. Have I done that too much?
There we go. Yeah, that's working for me now. Got our blender again. I do tend to just sort of stick with one or two brushes once I find one I like. I'm thinking maybe let's need a bigger brush. Just taking that blender, it just sort of. Have I made that too dark? Could use the eraser just to put in some uh, highlights again. Just to lift this back out. I will. Pretty much making this up to be honest.
Sorry that I've gone quiet. I'm really concentrating on what I want to do with these sort of rocks. I think that will do. I don't need to do too much. Right, one more layer, and then I just need to put in a few lines, and I think we'll be done. So now we're going to go in for the sort of well, maybe blue. Need a brushes have we got? Basic lines dry. Is that not You're drying and wet? Oh, you have to press on. You have to give it lots of pressure. Okay. Can't get with that at all. Yeah, it's a bit too, what's this one do? That's the one I want, that's it. This is the basic lines wet pattern. Just to, um, I don't like the, uh, I don't like the pattern of, of the, that the brush makes. It's obscuring what I'm trying to look at. Bit annoying, no mind. Right, so I can just sort of put in some crags and things. Uh. Take that softener.
go so you see it's just a matter of finding some lines letting them meander wherever they want to go kind of like that in the shadow bits as well softening it off where you think you need it Oh. a little bit of shadow in there oh, I like that I think maybe I ought to strengthen this shadow up a bit as well underneath here like that oh, that's better yeah I'm feeling it that up a little bit there because uh, I kind of lost some of the detail I got a bit impatient with sketching Let the lines a bit thicker in the foreground as well the shadow lines just throws them forward a bit doesn't it You just soften that edge a little bit. Go back in. Yeah. Does it need a lot much more? I'm not sure it does, to be honest. We could probably get away with a little bit stronger color in the foreground area um, if I create a new layer go back to this brush and try with a bit of brush on screen get the right brush if I do it on a new layer I can just sort of put the color on and then lift it out or raise it out where I need to just just to get a bit of moss going off there maybe vary the color a little bit 
yellow in there. To the foreground a bit. Uh, use that sponge as well because that kind of puts these nice textures some blue I think Push a bit bigger Got some big spots like that. I don't know if I'm like that or not. a bit more subtle than that I think Yeah, that will do. All right, get that eraser and then lift it out where I don't want it. That's where the rocks are. Kind of a bit of a different style to me, I suppose. You know what? I could even sort of um, use the eraser to put in a few contour lines. I don't think that goes amiss, does it? Actually, um, just leads you into that picture a little bit better, and it sort of gives the idea of the cracked ground and everything. Yeah, I like that. Just get it signed. Use this brush. Oh, blue. And there we have it. A, a nice easy study of painting some rocks. Uh, in watercolor in critter so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have big thumbs up as always is much appreciated if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i've got lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them all with you so don't forget everybody stay safe stay sane and keep painting and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye